Well, hello everyone. Um, I figured I'd do a video uh, of an overview of this radio. Um, you know, we've had this for a long time and I've never even thought about doing a, a review or anything of this radio, but we actually use this thing a lot. We uh, got this uh, a few years ago when they had like a buy a tool and you get another tool free and the tool I was buying at the time had a, had a free tool. So I was like, hey, you know, whatever, let's get this radio. So we bought the radio and man, I was surprised at how great this little radio has been. Um, we use it in the garage, we use it out at the land, we bring it on vacations with us now. Uh, I mean, we use it at the pool when we're outside hanging out in the pool. Uh, you know, it, it's super versatile and the great thing is, is it just runs on, you know, the 18 volt batteries. Um, and man, the batteries last forever. I mean, uh, you know, we used to carry it around and we'd bring a backup battery. We don't even bring a backup battery anymore if we have a charged battery because, man, that battery can last for months in there. Um, it, it's great, actually. So it was a surprising little little find. Um, you know, like I said, we just kind of picked that up because we had a free tool and it was one of the things to pick. Uh, some of the things to note on it is, like, this little antenna, which doesn't look like much, this thing picks up stations from all over I mean even our radio in the house and things like that doesn't I mean you do a scan on this and every digit you're getting another radio station it's crazy so uh, it picks up stations really well and it's very basic it's got Bluetooth so uh, you can hook your phone up to it you know works well it does an aux auxiliary in uh, so if you want to if you don't want to do Bluetooth and you just want to run a, a cable you know from your phone into the the radio that works great it's got a clock on it if you actually set it we never set it uh it's even got the usb charger on there which is cool because we'll put bluetooth on we'll plug the usb to the phone in the charger and then we'll just lay it in this little shelf the phone lay in this shelf right here and you carry it around so your phone's there it's got bluetooth you can hear if somebody's calling you um, you know, it's got it charges your phone while it's sitting there, and all of this is done off of a standard 18 volt battery. And it's amazing on how long it lasts. I mean, it'll charge your phone and play the radio all day long with so much battery left over. It's, I mean, it's been great for us. We love it, and and it's just funny to how I never even think about making a video of this because it's just one of the things we use all the time, and we never think twice about it. But uh, Anyways, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is still a, a current model because we haven't had it that long. Let me see. It's a, uh, it's called a P746. And, uh, yeah, here's the basics on the back. And as you see, the USB is like, it says 2 amps. I think on the, yeah, it says 2 amps. So, I mean, it, it's definitely going to charge your phone well. Um, you know, and it'll do fast charging, basically. And uh, this is just a 3 amp battery we have in here right now that's been in here for as long as I can remember. And I don't even know what. I mean, it may be. Uh, it's getting low. It's not got a 1. But uh, this thing works great. So if you're in the store and you see this, especially if it's on a sale like we got where, you know, you buy a tool and you get one free, uh, definitely recommend picking this thing up as a free. I mean, if you listen to any radio, anything in the garage, anything like that, or you have a pool, or you go to the beach, or you go camping, anything like that. Um, man, this thing's been a great little radio. So, uh, you know, the only thing I think, and, and again, I we didn't expect much out of it because it's it's a work radio, right? So, but the, you know, the speakers aren't the best. Of course, that's not a very good song to play. It. And I don't know if it's... Uh, in that station at Pacific time and then but you know all in all won't you stay it sounds good it could probably use a subwoofer or maybe some some higher class uh, speakers but uh, you know we can crank it up pretty good in the shop and, and still listen to music pretty good and uh, you know if you want to be crafty and get into some uh, high-end speakers I'm sure you could pop that grill off and put something else in there if you just really wanted some uh, 
higher definition speakers. But all in all, I mean, we, we love it. I mean, the music sounds great. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of bass, but we didn't never expect it to. So anyways, long story short, great tool that Ryobi made. Uh, great that you can use their batteries uh, for more than just saws and drills. And uh, I highly recommend it if, uh, if you come across it. Um, man, you might even see these on clearance at places. You know, just, just pick it up if you see it. All right, that's it. Y'all take care. Oh, and I forgot to add. Um, so I'm, I'm taking another little quick video. Like I took the, the battery out of it. On, on the models, you can see, you can still run it on an extension cord. So let's say you forgot your, your battery and you're somewhere and you've, you've got electricity, you can easily just plug it in uh, without having to worry about using the 8 volt battery, I mean 18 volt battery, but uh, but of course we always have it on there. I, I completely forgot you could even plug the thing in, but uh, but yeah, it's a great little tool. So like I said, if you see one of these, uh, it's worth picking up. I think great tool.